Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. What do we have here? Oh boy. <sighs> wow, so I'm going to swerve out of my lane right now. This is fa a fascinating article just came out on uh, True Pundit by uh, investigative uh, journalist Thomas Paine. And this is, in my view, this is the summation of the whole um did the whole 2016 uh, presidential election, how Hillary Clinton in conjunction with Bill Clinton, the former president of the United States, how they, how they successfully were able to make their, uh, make Hillary Clinton's email problems and, and um, obvious, you know, federal crimes go away. And, We've always kind of suspected that it was an inside job, and we kind of suspected that it was, in fact, former deputy uh, director Andrew McCabe, that Terry McAuliffe, under the direction of Hillary Clinton back in the election, was able to get Terry McAuliffe to give McCabe $700,000 in uh, campaign contributions so his wife could run a failed campaign, right? So... Here's the connection, right? I want you have to read the article. You absolutely have to read Thomas Paine's a breakdown of the whole thing, and he's basically calling Andy McCabe. He's fingering Andy McCabe as a Russian spy, uh, in the same spirit as um, Robert Henson. That's a new name. Robert uh, Robert Hansen was an FBI spy who was operated for almost twenty years, and he was selling. Uh, he was selling FBI information out the back door to the Russians, right? So this article pretty much says that McCabe is the same thing. And Mueller, the current, you know, the guy, the ringleader trying to, trying to pin all of this on Trump, is actually, um, he knew all about McCabe's antics and, and, uh, security breaches and so did uh, so did uh you know comey james comey we we know that we know that's why comey got fired but anyway this is a uh, fascinating article you got to read it 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 basically i think that the the takeaway is that you have to ask yourself because the, the the most important thing none of this would be relevant if it wasn't for the fact that the clintons Hillary Clinton led the charge to to overthrow the DNC and and you know make Bernie Sanders go away. Bernie Sanders was the was the pick of the people. And how was Hillary Clinton the talentless nobody, you know, the person that nobody liked and nobody trusted? How was she going to overcome Bernie Sanders' popularity and policy and character, he was, you know, had 20 million young people behind him. How is she going to overcome that? So in, in classic Clinton style, you have to use blackmail. And so the best way to do that, it turns out, was you have to get, you have to, you have to get a plan. And here's the other thing I want to say quickly is why Russia? Why the Russian narrative? Why why, why couldn't it have been? It could have been anywhere, but they, they picked Russia. And, and here's why. Because the Clintons, the Clintons operate backwards. They don't look, they don't look and say, oh, well, well let's, you know, let, let, let's create a story and then, and then we'll, we'll figure it out later. No, they look for the dirt, right? See, they knew Andrew McCabe was compromised. They knew that. Right, so what better way? What better way to infiltrate the FBI than 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 side with a compromised FBI agent, right? Because McCabe was responsible. They see so Hillary Clinton and and uh, under the direction of Obama and and Lynch, right? They have the information. They know McCabe is dealing. With, with Russian oligarchs. They know this, right? If you read Thomas's Payne, Thomas Paine's piece, you'll, you'll see the link uh, 
to the Russian oligarchs that McCabe had. McCabe is always one step ahead of the FBI's investigation. Anything Russia, right? So he's compromised. They don't have the smoking gun, at least they don't have it yet, where he's taking cash and diamonds or whatever else they're giving him, the Russian oligarchs are giving him for their information. But he's clearly compromised. So that's where the Clintons always come in, right? Get a compromised person, right? McCabe was leading up the Clinton email probe. So if we approach him, right, and say, look, you better make our shit go away. You better make this 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 Russian email stuff go away. Or else we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hang you out to dry uh with your with your Russian that we're gonna finger you as a Russian spy, which you are, right? And we could prove it. Right? Now we could start to prove it. We're starting to see the the uh, the dominoes fall. So that it's very it's very Clinton esque in approaching compromised people and then getting them to flip to, to to be to work on your behalf. And if you don't, we'll throw you in jail. We'll get Obama and, and Lynch and all that stuff, all those people to rain down on you heavily. So and if she would have become president, none of this would have mattered, as Thomas Paine says in his last sentence of the, of the, uh, of the piece, that if, if the Clintons would have pulled this off, right, then it wouldn't have mattered because she would have been all-powerful and the president of the United States, which would have been a, you know, travesty. So, you know, and the, the article goes, it, it goes deep into detail. You don't, you don't really have to, you know, he, he mentions um, Deripasik, uh, who was is basically a, a, a uh, an oligarch in Russia. He does. They don't really. See, he was the, the subject of an FBI investigation. They don't really say what the what the actual crimes were, but they do say that um, he was a Russian oligarch and he was he was under FBI radar. And McCabe is always one step ahead. He called him a friend. You know, he calls this guy a friend. So, um, I I think that this is I think that this is this article and this this investigation right here that Thomas Paine is is leading is definitely Pulitzer material. This is this is real investigative journalist journalism, and it 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 blows me away. I've o I've always been silent uh, on this subject, and. Uh, and I'm sure you know the, the 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 commentators that we know and love. Sticks will have something to say about this. H. A. Goodman will be writing, you know, doing ten videos on this, and um, maybe even you know Cenk Uger and the Turks will suddenly realize that this is this is the reality that Andrew McCabe, the former FBI deputy director. And at one point when Comey was fired, he was the director of the FBI for a brief moment, is in fact a Russian spy, right? He's a Russian spy. So what better way, what better dirt, right? See, the, what better dirt can the Clintons get on Trump than tying him to, to Russian oligarchs? Now, how are they going to do that? They already have their guy. They got Andy McCabe in their hand. They got him in the palm of their hand. Now, they tried the the the, the fake dossier. The you know that two hookers pissed on Trump. <laughs> that was stupid, but but it could have it could have went a lot further. And you could bet your ass that if Trump would have lost that McCabe, if Trump would have lost that presidential election, Hillary Clinton would have directed McCabe to link Trump to Russian oligarchs, right? And they would have they would have succeeded at doing that because why? Because this is our law enforcement agency. This is they turned this thing into a into a cash a cash cow, right? So there's definitely uh, so much so much respect for Thomas Paine for putting this stuff out. And you need to pass this around. You need to read it because all of the answers to the 2016 election are here. Again, organized crime, they don't, they don't sell something. They sell cover. That's what they do. Organized criminals have position of power and they sell their cover. 
and this is what they were co they covered. Andy McCabe covered for Hillary Clinton and her crimes to become president of the United States, and in doing so, he would have covered his own ass because the FBI would have eventually, or, or, or eventually, this this would have come out, and he would have become the next Robert. Uh, what's his name? Robert Henson. That guy, by the way, that that um, FBI agent Robert um, Hansen uh, is currently serving, you know, 15 consecutive life sentences in a maximum security prison for being a Russian spy. So that's a lot. Definitely read the the Thomas Paine article. It's uh, really really amazing stuff. And um, you know, that's my two cents on the Russian. I, I'm only concerned because I voted for Bernie Sanders. I wouldn't have followed any of this if it wasn't for the, you know, the efforts of of the DNC lawsuit and and realizing that the DNC DNC did in fact steal an election from Bernie Sanders, and now it makes sense. What? It, how did they use? How did they cover? They covered by saying Russia did it, right? And then they send in the Russian spy, the Russian oligarch spy, Andy McCabe, to lead the investigation. It makes perfect sense. That's why they use that's why they used Russia, because they had a compromised Russian spy in the FBI. Amazing, amazing stuff. So first you now you have to take out you have to take out McCabe, right? You have to take him out. You have to prosecute him as a spy, compromise him and get him to get him to turn on the Clintons and, and, and Loretta Lynch. Not even turn, just tell the truth what happened. You took the money, you felt compromised, right? It's it's a beautiful play by the Clintons. It's again, that's what they that's what they do so well. That's what they do so well. And it's not Hillary Clinton. It's Bill Clinton. We saw this for eight years. Bill Clinton, mind you, is very 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 smart guy is very highly intelligent highly knowledgeable man of power and Hillary Clinton is the puppet peace out